Oh, what's this? Oh, oh my God. What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today I'm at this small creek. I'm gonna be fishing with a trout magnet. A trout magnet is basically a small jig head with a soft plastic body. It has a split tail and it has some ribs down the side of it. it comes in a ton of different colors. It's a great multi-species bait. It'll catch pretty much anything in this creek. Trout, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, bluegill, rock bass, fall fish, creek chub, catfish. You name it, this thing will catch it. I'm gonna show you guys how I rig it up, how I set it up, and how I fish it, and hopefully we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. The first setup I'm gonna show you guys is very simple and it's probably my favorite way to rig a trout magnet. Basically, I have a barrel swivel, about a foot of leader line, and then I have my trout magnet. The swivel adds a little weight to help with casting distance and it also keeps twist out of your line. Fish one already. Oh, it's a small mouth. First cast. Putting up a heck of a fight. Look at him. He does not want to come in here. Come here, buddy. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. He slammed that thing. Just a little feller, but man, they put up one heck of a fight. Beautiful fish. See ya, buddy. There we go, boys. Very first cast with a trout magnet. Nice little small mouth. Fishing under this bridge, there's a nice little shade and there's a current um, coming down through here and there's a little deeper water right there where that current flows into. Perfect spot for smallmouth. Just cast it out and just kind of, I just kind of jig it back in. You can play with uh, the cadence on how you uh, jig it. That's what I love about trout magnets. You can fish them pretty much however you want. Just play around and see what the fish want. Must have been the only fish in this hole. I'm gonna move on downstream, see if we can find some more fish. Fishing late summer like this, you kind of got to think about, you know, where the fish are going to be. A lot of times they're going to be in some cooler running water um, with a nice current, and they're also going to be uh, finding some shade because they want to get out of that sun just as much as uh, people fishing want to be out of the sun. Fish one. Oh, this is something nice. I don't know what it is, but it's nice. Oh, it's not too big. It's a big creek chub. He didn't even fight. Decent little creek chub. He didn't fight at all. Kind of like reeling in dead weight. See ya, buddy. Two fish, two different species. I think you guys, uh, guys are realizing what I mean by multi-species bait. I'll show you guys real quick how I rig this up. You just take the trout magnet jig head and the soft plastic. Just go right down the center, and I like to come out right where the tails start to split. Just like that. You want that trout magnet to be pretty straight on the hook. If you guys are fishing and see some shade from an overhanging tree or just shade in general, always make a couple casts to it, especially when you're fishing late summer, um, because those fish are looking for shade to get out of that hot sun. Fish one, right in the shade. Cast right over there in that shade, and he hit it as soon as it hit the water. This is a good fish. I don't know what it is, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's a huge creek chub. Huge creek chub. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna let you go, right in the top of the mouth. That's usually how you hook them when you're fishing a trout magnet right in the roof of the mouth. Just push down and it pops right out. A little better than the last one. Put up a little bit of a fight. Crazy looking fish. I like that shine they got to them. See ya buddy. All right, that's three fish down. Two fall fish, one smallmouth bass. All right guys, I figured I'd give you another little tip or trick while I'm standing here. If you're having trouble casting this trout magnet, you can always add a split shot right above your barrel swivel. Obviously it adds weight and will help you cast farther. The barrel swivel actually stops the split shot from riding down the line to your bait. Because a lot of times if you put a split shot on your line and don't have a barrel swivel, the split shot will just ride down your line after you make some casts or catch some fish. So that's just a little tip for you guys if you're having trouble casting this trout magnet. One other thing the split shot does is help you get deeper in the water column if you're fishing some deeper water or there's some current keeping your trout magnet from getting down in the water. This added weight will help you get down deeper in the water column to those fish.
Fish one. Ooh, ooh. What is this? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a big sunny. Big bluegill. Three species down, boys. Man, aren't these fish beautiful? See you, buddy. I'm going to retie. I've caught four fish on this trout magnet. I'm using four pound test line, and over time, your knot does get weak. So it's a good idea to retie every so often. That way, if you do hook up with a nice fish, it doesn't break. For these trout magnets, I just tie an improved clinch knot. All right, we're back in action. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess that is one downside to the trout magnet. You do catch some small fish, but I never complain when I'm catching fish. I don't care what size they are. Got something. What is it? Oh my God, look at that smallmouth, guys. If I had an aquarium, I would definitely put him in there. Absolutely beautiful. See you, buddy. You gotta respect how aggressive those smallmouth bass are. I mean, that dude was super tiny. Oh, fish one. What is it? It's like another uh, bluegill. Yep, that's what it is. See you, buddy. I'm gonna show you guys another way you can rig a trout magnet. These are actual trout magnet bobbers. So you just slide the line in through the uh, through the split there in the bobber, and then you just take this pin and push it down in the bobber, and it holds it tight onto the line. So that's one more way that you can rig a trout magnet and uh, it'll keep it off the bottom for you. You don't get quite the action, um, but you can just cast it out there, watch your bobber float down the river and wait for a bite. See if we can catch one on this bobber. Got one. He, hit, he actually hit the bobber and then went down and hit the trout magnet. That's funny. Just another creek chub. Man, he's going crazy. See you, buddy. The bobber kind of reduces the action that your trout magnet has. I prefer fishing without a bobber, but I just wanted to show you guys that that is an option when fishing a trout magnet is with a bobber. Just so you guys know, I am not sponsored or paid by trout magnet in any way. I just wanted to show you guys this lure. I've been using this lure as long as I can remember, and it just flat out catches fish. It's so simple, so effective. And that's why I'm showing you guys this because I want you guys to be able to catch more fish. Adding to that trout magnet, if you are watching this video, hit me up. I'd love to be sponsored by you guys. I love the product. I catch a ton of fish on this lure. Fish one. Oh, nope, I still got him. What is it? Oh, it's a smallmouth. Yes, another smallmouth, boys. Just a little feller, but my God, he's so pretty. I could just kiss him. This setup is a five foot six ultralight with four pound test line. And I'm telling you, pretty much any fish that you hook up with is gonna be a lot of fun to fight. What's this? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, boys. Oh my God. It's a big smallmouth. He is pulling drag. He is pulling drag. Oh, 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 he just spit it. Son of a gun. Oh my God, that's heartbreaking. Oh, he came out of the water twice. On the second time, he spit it. There's something. Oh, it's a smallie. Not a big one, but it's a smallie. Right in the top of the mouth. It's not that big one I lost, but it's a small mouth. I'll take it. See you, buddy. 
All right, guys, the yellow and orange served us well, but I'm going to switch it up and try pink. Oh, there it is. I think that's a smallie. Yep, it is. It's not a big one, but it's a nice one. Cute little feller. See you, buddy. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh my God, nice fish. Nice fish. Holy crap, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh my God, what is it? It's a big small mouth. It's a big small mouth. Don't get off, don't get off. Got him. Whew. He was almost off, boys. Nicest small mouth of the day. Man, he put up a good fight on this ultralight. He was pulling drag, had that rod bent over pretty good. Beautiful small mouth. I mean, beautiful. Look at the colors on him. Fish one. Another small mouth. Not a big one, but decent. Oh. And they just love to jump. They just can't help it. Just a little feller. He's pretty dark. See you, buddy. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. Had a lot of fun. Caught a lot of fish. I'd say I caught well over 20 fish. Lost a really nice smallmouth. Also caught some decent smallmouth. Caught a lot of bluegill and fall fish, all on the trusty trout magnet. I used a pink, and I also used a yellow and orange one. All the information for the trout magnet will be down in the description, so if you guys are interested in checking that out, if you pick some up, I promise you won't be disappointed. They catch a lot of fish. I am also working on merchandise, t-shirts, stickers, possibly hats, so stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know when it's available. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. One last thing, I know a lot of you guys are asking me to go trout fishing, and I really want to go trout fishing. It's just really tough this time of year. It's super hot here in West Virginia, and the trout just don't survive. As soon as fall, winter, and spring get here, I'll be doing a ton of trout fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hulk out.